everyone, Morgan here. So today I want to talk about how you can protect like your devices and also in general, like how to make an information Faraday bag. And what I mean by this is a lot of us keep uh, digital products like, you know, um, we keep ebooks and videos and, you know, we want to keep photos and we want to keep these digital products, but we want to keep them safe from any sort of EMP or anything that you just want to protect them, right? So, um, you know, a lot of people, when they think about phones or tablets or computers, they're like, it's going to be completely useless in an EMP because, you know, you won't be able to access the internet. Sure, fine, you won't be able to call people and you won't be able to access the internet, but that's not all that tablets and phones are good for. I store a lot of information like ma digital maps, I store a lot of, um, a ton of ebooks, just a bunch, and PDFs, and just a bunch of information, videos, again, photos of my family, you know, I keep a lot of this information on my, on my tablet here in this Mission Darkness Faraday bag. Now, you don't have to have a Faraday bag like this, you could have a Faraday cage made out of a, a trash can, I have a video down below that I did on that a long time ago, and that thing worked really well. You can, um, there's all sorts of Faraday bags, there's uh, Mission Darkness actually makes a Faraday bag specifically for um, uh, tablets, you know, like if you want to protect a tablet, just a tablet, you know, with like maybe a cord or something. But I think that, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you what I have here in my a Faraday bag. And this is always closed. If I need access to it, I get inside of it and, and that's done. And I, I just want to mention real quick that I did an official review of this Mission Dar Darkness um, bag on SHTF blog. If you go to uh, shtfblog.com and just search Mission Darkness or Darkness or whatever, you'll come and you'll see the duffel bag review and um, see my official review of that. So anyway, uh, let me show you what I got in here. So this is an Android tablet. I think Android is really the best option if you want to look for any sort of tablet or anything like that because you can actually use um, SIM cards in it so you can have additional information. Uh, you know, this Android in particular, this tablet doesn't hold, a, doesn't have a lot of memory, okay? So most of my information is on other um, SIM cards and I have the other SIM cards here in the bag as well. So I keep the SIM cards with the tablet inside of the Faraday bag. So the SIM card, um, you know, you can have as many of these as you want. Oh my gosh, SIM cards are so cheap these days. I remember back in the days when SIM cards was like, you know, get five megabytes for $60. And you're like, well, now you can get like a terabyte for like 50 bucks. I don't know. It's probably not that cheap for a terabyte. But um, also just keep in mind that the Android tablets sometimes do have like a max capacity of external um, drives that they can use. Like sometimes they can only use like 256 or you know whatever the case may be but um, make sure that, that you know if it has some sort of limit um, like the camera that I'm recording on right now has a, a limit on the size of car that it can use silly but it's true anyway you can get Android tablets for super cheap I got this used I don't even remember where I got it. I got it years and years ago um, but you know fill the cards and fill your tablet as much as you can, but then fill the cards and then keep the tablet, the card. And then I have this um, tablet reader that I actually have for my um, laptop, but I don't, I don't necessarily need it for this. I just have it in here just to protect it. And then have your charging cable in here as well. And then one other thing that I highly suggest that you have in here is a solar panel. Because, sure, you have your tablet in here nice and protected, but it won't last very long, you know, without a good charge. So have one of those foldable solar panels. I have a review of Foxelli and I use Gold Zero. Um, the foldable solar panels are becoming so affordable these days. There's no reason why we shouldn't at least have one in our household. And I have like three of them. And so um, I have one in here it's kind of it's kind of stash kind of particular anyway keep that in there as well a lot of people you know again they think okay great you have the tablet in the faraday bag but you can't charge it right because the emp took emp took out everything and you're right you know you wouldn't be able to charge it 
unless you had that solar panel protected along with everything else in that Faraday bag. Now you can put a, a bunch of other stuff in, you know, your Faraday bag or Faraday cage, you know, like you can put um, comms in it, whatever. But right now I'm just talking about this information and you can have, you know, like get an extra Android phone or something, the cheap, super cheap Android phones. This is an iPhone. I don't know why I'm displaying the iPhone, but I'm talking about, you know, just super cheap Android phones, um, super cheap Android tablets, you know, 50 bucks online used. Um, and then put those in there, make sure you have those charging cables, make sure you have the extra SIM cards and um, start loading them up. Just load them up with, with PDFs and eBooks and um, videos and pictures and uh, maps um, and all types of different information. You know, download offline apps, anything that, you know, talks about like first aid or, you know, like there's a Morse code um, app that um, you know you can use offline. Anything, any type of app that you can use offline is going to be an asset to you. You know, obviously when you don't have internet or anything like that. So, um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to show this to you. You know, again, a lot of people are very anti um, electronics when it comes to prepping, but I think that they can be a huge asset, not for calling and not for the internet, but for information to store that digital information. And again, as long as you have that solar panel to keep it charged, you're good to go. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I would love to hear your additional ideas for an information Faraday bag. Again, it doesn't have to be this big old thing that you keep it in, but any type of uh, Faraday bag to keep your electronics safe. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.